energy efficiency brings with it jobs, economic growth uh, uh, and energy security. Energy efficiency means being competitive, means reducing uh, the environmental impact of our energy system and also being more independent uh, from outside uh, uh, energy supply. So it definitely plays a key role in Europe. It's capable of delivering about half of the greenhouse gas emission reductions that we need to make by 2050. Um, its job creation potential is enormous and considering that Europe's looking at being 80% dependent on imports for uh, oil and gas by 2035, uh, it really does make a lot of sense to invest in, in what we have at home. We use more than 350 billion euro every year for importing fossil fuels and uh, if we can save 20% we can use those money inside EU by creating new jobs. I will not be dependent uh, on Mr. Putin, and I do not want to be dependent on the Middle East. I think the first sustainable region in, in the world be, uh, will be among the most competitive. If you reduce the costs for a company to uh, produce its products, you increase its competitiveness. Therefore, if you can reduce the energy uh, use uh, in a company, you increase the competitiveness of that company. 2030, that's next Tuesday, uh, next week for the companies. They need time for investment and we have to give them time uh, to find the investments for 2030. Looking to the future, uh, we in Euroways advocate very strongly for a binding energy efficiency target in uh, a mutually reinforcing set of targets and that that binding energy efficiency target is built not from the top down but from the bottom up by understanding the potentials in each sector. And when you do it that way, you get to a target that is not only ambitious, but it is cost effective too. I think more than focusing on ambitious long-term targets, we really need to understand how we can get energy efficiency to penetrate uh, the civil society in Europe. And uh, the implementation of the directive is lagging behind. There is important non-economic barriers due to a low awareness and governments and citizens on the issue of energy efficiency. We need to sort of disaggregate energy efficiency and look at which are the sectors where we really need to make the interventions uh, and it's not the same in the building sector as, as what it is in the appliance sector and as what it is in the transport sector and in many cases you do need quite carefully targeted policies. Where I uh, think that a binding target is helpful is in focusing the, the minds of, of people in ministries and so on who have to design these policies. Without an increase in awareness of the multiple benefits of energy efficiency which go beyond the energy savings and the reduction in cost that they deliver, I think we're going to have a very tough battle. If we can get campaigns going such as our own Renovate Europe campaign that will work at national level to help raise awareness across this spectrum I've spoken about, then I think we're going to begin to unlock uh, the potential for energy efficiency more quickly. The challenge is to actually change our way of thinking, our culture, the way people treat energy and really making people understand the value of energy and so the value of actually saving energy.